Hey you guys, Sandra Mateo here from the Fashion Entrepreneur Club, Andy Dana Styling. Um, welcome to video number three of this video series, how to build a fashion uh, or beauty business that works for you and your life. Um, today we are going to talk about your action plan. So if you haven't watched video number one and number two, pause and go back because they go in order <laughs> so it's gonna make more sense on the first one we talk about your why's and your house in your business on the second one we talk about the business model on the third one here today we are going to talk about your action plan so this workbook today is gonna help you get focused um, and organize so you know what to do in your business okay so if you don't have the guide if you didn't get it by email no worries I uh, I'm gonna put a link below so you can go ahead and get the guide which is my action plan workbook okay um, yes this one is a little bit longer um, because it's about taking action um, but it's gonna be very good so if you, I mentioned in the previous video that if you don't have a business yet, you just have an idea of a business or maybe you're a student, um, then it's perfectly fine. You didn't have to fill out the previous one, which was the business model. Although I encourage you to just check it out and you know start learning more about business models, um, but you didn't have to check it out and you're definitely gonna have to download this one to check it, to fill it out with me. And if you do have a business, I hope that you watched the previous video Video and went over your uh, business model and are more clear about the things that need to change that need to go um, the changes you need to make because in here we're gonna come up with a plan for the whole business okay so let's get started so let's see my action plan the first question in this workbook is what is your financial goal with your business right now so write down in there how much you want to make a year or how much you want to make each month. Um, I like having both, you know, the overall and then the month. Um, how do you want to grow each month um, and try to make it, you know, real <laughs> because um, it's it's awesome to have an, an amazing big goal. Um, but it's also, you know, every month that you're going through your finances and everything, if you don't hit that uh, goal and it makes you feel terrible um, I don't recommend that if it gets you excited and you're just feeling like I'm getting closer to it that's amazing if you are like oh my god I'm never gonna reach this goal and that kind of thing then don't use that approach but do have an idea of what you would like to make uh, monthly and check you know see what you're doing now so it's realistic of how much you can grow okay you don't have to be a mathematician to do this, right? Um, just, you know, try to be as logical as possible and just write down the numbers that make sense to you, okay? Okay, next one. How do you feel about that goal and share why? So how do you feel about it? Is it doable? Is it not doable? Um, is it going to take, you know, way more time than really what you're giving yourself um, to make this happen? You're gonna, are you going to need help? Uh, do you feel excited about it? You know, write it down. Okay. Okay. Next one. If you are experiencing any negative emotions toward your goals, do you think those reasons are legit? If you're feeling positive emotions, you can skip this question. So again, if you're feeling excited and it just fills you and gets you going and you're fine with it, boom, just skip it and go to the next question. If, if you feel a little bit of, you know, weirdness in here, or maybe you gives you a little bit of anxiety or gets you scared, you know, talk about that, you know, um, write it down in there. Why are you feeling that way? Um, do you feel like it's just not enough time or do you feel like um, maybe you are not good enough or crazy ideas like that that we have in our heads or that you don't haven't learned enough or that your following isn't as big enough like what are those things and again this is important because these things are going to be running through your head as you work through the month and you see your goal so that's what I'm telling you that you know do something that really gets you excited um, that pushes your yourself a little bit uh, uh, pushes the envelope but at the same time it's something that you feel um, confident about doing and with the work that you're doing and the schedule that you have and everything that is going on right now because you want to be realistic this is real business right okay next one 
how much revenue do you need to generate from each income stream? Remember the income streams we talked about uh, in the business model? And if you're new to this, that's, that's fine. You can uh, address it over here. How much revenue do you need to generate from each income stream in your business for you to reach that financial goal? Okay, it's okay to have one income stream, especially if you're starting out. Okay, so, you know, do you have one income stream, two, three? How many do you have in the business? How much money should each income stream generate? Are you just making it out of your head or do you know already and based on, on what you evaluated in your business? Like, okay, this income stream makes the majority of the of the money in my business this one is just starting out and I'm just getting it going right be realistic and make sure you know how that income stream is gonna come obviously it's not gonna be exact but you have an idea of how much money right because every month you know how much money each income stream brings how much more this one can grow and how much more this one can help or if adding a new one um, it's gonna help in that area okay just write it down okay how do you feel about that plan or strategy so honestly how do you feel about that how do you feel about that income stream bringing this amount of money and that income stream bringing that amount of money okay how do you feel about it do you feel excited do you feel frustrated do you feel like it's not gonna happen it's not real like how do you feel about it okay write it down in there next one if you believe that it is a good strategy okay you can skip this question if not what needs to change so maybe you got all excited and you said okay i have these three income streams and each one's gonna bring i don't know a thousand dollars and then you are analyzing and you're being like i don't have enough time to dedicate to each of these income streams for it to be able to bring that money okay and you know, I'm talking about different levels of business here. Maybe you were talking about $5,000 or we're talking about $3,000 or way more, okay? Whatever it is, do you feel confident with the amount of work that you're doing now, with the amount of knowledge that you have, with the amount of product that you have, can you make that happen? Do you need to hire someone? Does someone need to take over some of those activities? Is that doable? Is it gonna happen? How do you feel about it, okay? Is it a good strategy? Is it gonna work, okay? Okay, if not, what needs to change? Remember that part is important. If you think that's not gonna do it, maybe you realize, you know, that second income stream really is just starting out, it's just making a little bit of money right now, so it's not logical to think, or not feasible to think that maybe that, in that income stream is gonna bring as much money as the other one, so let me, you know, adjust my expectations and be like okay this one's gonna bring i don't know 80 percent and this one's gonna be only 20 percent of the income stream or you know think about it and and write it down of course if you have any questions guys leave them below on or tell us inside the facebook group i'll be happy to help okay next one um what steps do you need to take to generate that revenue with each income stream Okay, what steps do you need to take to, to generate that revenue with each income stream? So again, just try to, you know, we, we touched on this in the previous guide, but if you're new, that's totally fine. Just write the income stream and write the steps of what needs to happen for that sale to take place. It's really important to be sure about that sales process, okay? And then that's gonna also help you realize if that expectation that you have about making money with each income stream is going to be real because you only have so many hours in the day especially if you're a solopreneur right uh or maybe if you have people working in the business but you're only taking care of this area it's going to help you realize that you need to move things around right okay next one how do you feel about the action steps that you need to take are they doable do you need help so again, be realistic. This is about being realistic to make this happen. This is not about thinking about fantasy and coming to the end of the month and being like, I, I, could, I couldn't do it, it's not gonna happen, okay? This is about being realistic and using the resources that you have uh, or hiring or doing, making the changes that you need to make to make this goal happen, okay? Okay. 
So write it down in there. Do you need help? Do you need to change some things? The next one is who will be responsible for each action step or task? So using those steps of the things that need to happen right next to it, who's doing that? If it's you, write it down. If it's your assistant, write it down. If it's you and your assistant, you know, assign each task right there so you know what needs to happen next, okay? Okay, is there a tool or a system that will simplify or amplify your efforts or your team's efforts? Is there anything that, is there a class, a, cur- a course maybe that you bought that it's, that's, you know, it's, it helps you with a particular step and maybe your assistant needs to uh, check out the course or you need to check out the course to make sure that you are implementing things the right way or do you need to hire a mentor in that area or do you need to um, learn something, practice something every day to make that happen? What needs to happen or what apps can you use that is gonna make the process super simple for you guys, that is gonna save you so much time Think about those things because that's going to help tremendously. Okay. Okay. Next one. When is each step taking place? Schedule it in your week, month. So when is this taking place? Are you making, if the thing is making phone calls, doing presentations or putting up the ad, like when is this happening? When are you designing the ad or when are you hiring the designer, uh, the graphic designer to to put together the ad? When are you doing uh, the process on Facebook? How long is it going to take for it to be approved? Um, You know, when are you doing the presentations? When are you scheduling calls? Are you scheduling calls on Fridays? Like how is that process? So it's again, so it's doable because a lot of a lot of people, you know, they're just you know, wake up, open the phone, check the emails and work based on that. And then the day goes by and then they didn't do any of the tasks that they needed to do to make these goals happen. So you have to find the balance between, you know, running the business, right? And answering to your emails and the the customer's needs and all of that. That has to play a part. The emails need to play a part. The goal needs to be scheduled in in the schedule as well. So it happens because if not, the whole week goes by and you didn't take care of anything, which happens to us all the time. It happens to me too, okay? (laughs) Um, Okay, next one. Do you need more support? For example, a class, a tool, an assistant, a mentor, you know? You have to be, again, real about this. Do you need help, okay? If you cannot afford the help, then maybe you should not add that income stream. Maybe you should keep working on the income stream that you have right now, make sure, you know, that one is going great. And then maybe you can hire someone and then maybe you can expand, right? This is again, just about being realistic. So it happens. I just want to help you make it happen. Okay. So I'm always a person that talks about simplifying, 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 less steps, less is more, um, you know, making sure that you're spending your time in the right places, uh, spending your energy in the right things, the things that are going to, you know, fulfill you, that are going to fulfill um, your customers, right? Those are the important things. There's so many distractions and so many things that don't do anything for the business, right? Um, so you need to identify those and these guys are really good for that, okay? Then at the end, I just left a little space for the notes. Um, If, you know, again, if you watch something in the video, I said something that sparks something in you um, and you want to write it in there or you have a question, um, you can write it in there and I'll be happy to help. You can leave them below in this video or you can go to the Facebook group and, you know, discuss it in there in a more private setting or ask other entrepreneurs how they're dealing with a certain problem. Um, We'll be happy to help. Um, yeah, and that's what I have for you guys for this video. Um, I will publish another one soon, so stay tuned. Please let me know again if you have any questions about your whys, the business model, and this, the action plan. Um, I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you guys very soon, okay? Have a great day. Bye, guys.